This Five on Your Side Sports Report is sponsored by Telly Tire and Auto Centers, driving your way since 1942. I hope any person who has ever said St. Louis isn't a good sports town saw us on display today. There were over a hundred thousand fans downtown alone tonight to watch our teams. One hundred thousand. What a day. Let's get right to the action. We have to start with the season opener at the Battle Dome. Renegades and Battle Hawks in front of a new spring football record. 40,317 people. St. Louis loves football, period. Slow start, but it picked up. A.J. McCarron, Marcel Aitman, he's going to score. 8 nothing Battle Hawks. Second half, Arlington up three. McCarron, 53-yard bomb. Guess who? Aitman again. St. Louis back on top. Arlington going to wrestle the lead back late. They go up 24-21 at that point. Battlehawks take a field goal that tied it at 24. Get one last drive. Mateo Durant breaks off a big one. 41-yard rush. Battlehawks are in field goal range with a chance to win it. They're going to run down the clock, and Andre Schmeitz nails the 22-yarder as time expires. Those cardiac Battlehawks win 27-24. The Battle Dome goes absolutely nuts. What a night for the Battlehawks. This Five on Your Side St. Louis City SC coverage is sponsored by Together Credit Union. Down the road to City Park, Nelly was in the house as City SC hosted Dallas FC. And I'll tell you who has the heart of a champion, Roman Berkey. Spoiler, this game ended in a 0-0 draw, but it would have been about 4 or 5-0 without City star keeper. I mean, look at some of these saves. City had their chances too, just couldn't capitalize. Berkey was an absolute brick wall as City earns yet another draw. The Blues were the only team in action on the road today. They faced the bottom feeding Sharks in San Jose. Joel Hofer started a net. Look at this highlight save early on. Sharks got two past him in regulation, but the Blues battled back. Kairou 2-1. Then Blues net is empty. Braden Shen ties it with 2.30 left at 2. We go to overtime, but the Sharks would get the last laugh. William Eklund. That's his third of the game for the hat trick. Sharks win 3-2. They sweep the season series of the Blues and perhaps finally sink those slim Blues playoff chances. I've only seen them twice, and I think, you know, both games we outplayed them. But, we, you know, in the second period, we seemed to get frustrated and get away from our game plan. And, you know, at the end of the day, it hurt us in both games. Now to the Cardinals. Steven Matz looking for another strong start. He was good today. Five innings, no runs. Some dazzling defense behind him. Look at this double play. Win. Gorman. Goldie. That'll do it. Cards get on the board thanks to Jordan Walker. He blisters one down the line. He's going to pull a nice swim move to get in safe for the double at second base. Wilson Contreras was out again, so Yvonne Herrera stepped up. He had another RBI, and another youngster was on fire as well. That's Victor Scott looking like Jim Edmonds in center field. What a catch. Cards win 3-1 to one thanks to another strong performance by the defense. Still no errors for this team this season. Got a group of people that are looking to take care of the baseball and do the little things right. And I know that we say little things, but they amount to big things. So it's been cool to see. The guys have done a really nice job. They're focused every pitch. We're not taking a pitch off. And um, it's helped our, our staff quite a bit. WNIT championship game. Slew against Minnesota at SIUE. Billikens dominated this one pretty much the whole way. This is in the second half. And there are two of tournament MVP Peyton Kennedy's 19 points. SLU hit 11 three-pointers today. They were deadly from deep and beat the Gophers 69-50 to to claim the WNIT trophy. The Bills won 11 of their last 12 games to finish the year. What a run, what a team. Whenever this happens, it's just it's like time slows down a little bit. Um, you think about all the memories of the journey and the parts that were hard and the parts that were beautiful. And you just look at your women and think, wow, look what they just did. And as a staff, we just want to create an environment where they can rise up to their highest level of themselves. We call it Arate, and they did it tonight. Earlier today, the Billiken men's team made headlines by officially announcing former Indiana State coach Josh Schertz as their new head coach. Here's part of a statement from Schertz. He will be formally introduced on Monday morning at Chaffetz Arena. Mm. Yeah, that was a lot. Take it was a, a breath. busy day. Mostly good results, though. <laughs> you know, I like what the card said about you got to do the little things right. Yes. And then that'll pay off. That defense is definitely showing up this year. We love it. Yeah. <laughs> Any thoughts? It's going to be nice tomorrow. I think the rain's out of here just in time for them to play at 115. Ooh, all right. We like it.